Hello. Okay. Quick video about trigger foods. Very often it's the trigger foods that are controlling our behaviours. And often there is a food that you have um, that when you eat it, there's no full stop. You just want to keep going. So here's a few, a few tips um, for you to have a think about when it comes to your um, trigger foods. Okay, so number one, uh, make sure you're eating adequate, ad adequately and consistently throughout the day. So make sure you're having your three meals and having snacks, maybe a morning snack, afternoon snack, you might have an evening snack. Trying to focus on having whole foods when you can. Because this means you're not going to get that hunger crash because quite often we reach for the tilt trigger foods when we've crashed. Um, so um, these meals, make sure it's nicely balanced with um, protein, carbs and fat at each meal. Um, so we're not putting our body into deprivation and wanting those uh, trigger foods. Now, so once you're in a good place, you're having your three meals a day and um, some whole food snacks. And we don't want to restrict our trigger foods. So say you have three or four days and you're like, I'm just going to try and not have them at all. We want to reintroduce them because they're going to be in life and we don't want to do a restrict binge cycle. So making sure that you're eating three meals a day and snacks if needed. Um, have your trigger food, have it handy, um, but buy small quantities. Buy it in small individual packets. So it's not like a big sharing pack that you can just keep going with more individual packets and then then that's quite an, a natural restriction um with um ice cream for example instead of buying a big pot just buy a little pot so because it is quite likely that you might overeat in the food but if you've just got a little pot in the house then you're likely just to eat that so we want to regular regularize regularize I don't know if that's a word actually we want to be able to eat these trigger foods quite happily so it might be say chocolate you decide you're going to have I don't know, four squares of dark chocolate a day or a freddo a day those little chocolate bars um decide when and where you want to enjoy your trigger food make sure you're not too hungry when you enjoy that food because it's quite likely that you will keep eating it so you might want to have it after your dinner, like a dessert. So having your trigger food, because we want to work with the relationship with the trigger food. So we're not overeating it. Um, by having your trigger food after a meal, it means your blood sugar is stable, which means it's easier sort of to check in and stop at a place for satisfaction. Um, it is likely when you start to introduce that overeating might happen, but start to take some peace with it and have bring in those trigger foods at a time that you are not hungry and that you are not going to be compelled to overeat so number four so we've got number one was uh, make sure you're eating consistently throughout the day number two reintroduce your trigger one food at a time number three pick a time and place to eat it and make it recurring. Number four, stay present when eating the food. Be aware, um, take notice, think about what it smells like, what it tastes like. Um, staying present will help increase your satisfaction. Number five, leave room for reflection. So notice if any feelings come up for you. Is there any negative sets of self talk? Um, are you judging yourself? So you want to approach this from a place of curiosity rather than judgment. So just to reflect on how you're feeling, um, you know, and just reaffirm to yourself that you're working to make peace with your trigger foods. Okay, so we're going to keep repeating that process. But once you run out of the package of food, just check in with yourself and just think, how was the experience for me? Did it work? Um, did it bring up any feelings, positive, negative, neutral? Were you able to eat mindfully? Did you like it? Um, did it make me feel good? So keep trying to eat this trigger food on a regular basis, but making sure that you're having your three meals a day and your snacks 
which are not part of your trigger foods. Um, and make sure you're having your trigger foods when you're not hungry. Um, if you have lots of trigger foods, just focus on one trigger food at a time. Um, if you feel that this is not working, then check in. You can always check in with me and just take it steady. So we can restrict our trigger foods and say we're not eating them ever again, but it's very likely that will only last so long and then we will overeat. We could say, you know, for three days, just short term, I'm going to try not to have, have that at all. And then you reintroduce it and it helps her. So hopefully that has helped you a little bit. Um, buy smaller packages, smaller individual bars. Be aware of the taste satisfaction. Make sure you're not too hungry when you're eating it. Take breaths, take notice, be present when you're eating it. Um, and just build on your relationship with that food. <laughs>